These are the dealers. The dealers have no idea who will be first into the dealing room and no opportunity to research the items they'll be bidding on. Pablo from Montreal, Canada has a lifelong love of all things Japanese. The items I have today have been around Japan for hundreds of years. Very sharp, very shiny, and very exciting. These items are very close to me and I think that should come through by today with the dealers. I have here two uh, very special pieces of samurai history. They're, of course, two Japanese samurai swords. Pablo has brought one sword made in 1864, known as a katana, and a second from the 1500s, known as a wakizashi. Shall we have a look? Yeah. Together, the katana and wakizashi swords were the official sign of a samurai, the swordsman in feudal Japan. Their manufacture was seen as a sacred act created by master craftsmen over many months. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the quality of the sword would depend on how many times the metal was folded. Yes, you're right. Remember, with every fold, you increase the layers exponentially, right? So one fold, two layers. Yes. You know, second fold, four layers, then eight. So actually, 15 folds, uh, 32,000 layers. The guy was very interesting. He knew his apples. He, he was telling us all about the history and how they were made. It was on his game. Uh, the samurai were a warrior class in feudal Japan. So samurai were the very top, and then you had farmers, and then you had craftsmen, and then you had merchants. The more knowledge that they're armed with and the more history that they're armed with and a story that goes along with it, it makes an item much, much more saleable, which makes us want to buy it. It's pretty interesting buying something from a guy holding a sword. <laughs> I'd just be interested to see how sharp it really is. If, you, if you're happy, you hold on to it. I'm just intrigued to... Oh. Yeah, that's... I don't want to You could shave with that. The way the seller handled these swords, how careful he was with it, made me think this is the type of collector I want to buy a sword from. Today, samurai sword strength is tested by slicing through bamboo trees. But 600 years ago, the tests were very different. It's a little bit kind of gross. What they used to do um, is test on cadavers the strength of a samurai sword. This sword cut cleanly through the arm, the shoulder area, right down to the trunk of a human being. Wow. And the actual tester's name is on here, too. The shorter sword, being 600 years old, and having that much history really got me excited. For Pablo, the swords are works of art, but Gillian takes a different view. Thank you very much for bringing them in. Thank you. I make it a rule not to deal in weapons at all of any kind. Right. So thank you very much. I can see that you are more than a little attached to these items. The reason I'm not going to make you an offer today is because if I buy these swords from you, I don't have you to sell the swords for me, and I think you are the perfect person to be selling samurai swords, but thank you very much. Just three dealers remain. So in terms of pricing, what's an idea on the longer sword? You sell this for about 7,000 pounds. I think this, uh, this sword, the shorter sword, you could sell for more than 10,000 pounds. I don't think I can make a profit, so I'm just gonna sit down. Thank okay. you very much. All right, thank you very much, thank you. I'd like to make you an offer on the shorter one. You're only just interested in the shorter sword, right? Yes, I am. Right, okay. I'll offer 2,000 pounds for the shorter one. It's just too low. It's just, I'm sorry, cannot accept that. I'll make you an offer. Mm -hmm. I'll give you three grand for the pair. Sellers come from all over the world for the unique opportunity to have their items assessed by five international dealers ready to buy. Pablo from Canada has brought two much-loved samurai swords. Scott's only interested in the older short sword and has bid £2,000. Nick wants both. I'll give you three grand for the pair. No, thank you. I put in a bid of £3,000 for the pair just to get an idea of where he was. I'm going to place an offer for the smaller sword, 2,500 pounds.
Thank you for the offer, but oh, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't come. To, I can't go to that. I'll offer you three and a half thousand pounds for the pair. For the pair. It's just you know you have to do a little bit better than that. The dealers know samurai swords in poor condition can sell for as little as five hundred pounds. So Pablo's asking price sounds like a big risk to Nick. Take four grand for the pair. For four thousand pounds, you can have this longer sword. It's not really that one that I like. It's the story and the history that I like, and the fact that it's actually cut someone in half is pretty cool. You're not coming close to what we're at, what we're after here, you know. In that case, I'm going to sit down. Okay, thank you very much. Only Scott remains, but can he secure a deal on the short sword? A final offer of three thousand pounds. Say yes today and take it. Will you promise more sword purchases in the future? I'll promise more sword purchases in the future. I'll offer you five thousand pounds for the pair. If Nick hadn't have stood up and messed with the deal, I definitely could have bought it for three thousand pounds. Thirty-five hundred, and we have a deal on that. My best uh, offer was twenty-five, offer. and I pushed the three thousand pounds. Three thousand two hundred fifty pounds. I met you halfway. Uh, I will then ask this gentleman to see whether he can better that offer. Okay. Give you five thousand two hundred and fifty. The final offer I made on the swords was five thousand two hundred and fifty pounds for the pair. Sorry, I just I just can't do that. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Three thousand two hundred fifty. Say yes today and take it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. On this particular buy, I didn't think I was going to get a deal done till the last. Second of the deal, Pablo slashes his price, selling the wakizashi for three thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. I think the sword definitely chose Scott today. He knew he wanted this piece. I think you've bought something really, really cool. I think there's a nice profit for you. It has everything that makes an item collectible. Six hundred year old sword. I lost out. I'm really pleased on how it all worked.